A climate model is many things. Think of it as a, a zoo of things, you know? You have ants and you have elephants and you have zebras and aardvarks and hippopotamus. All these are models, you know? So our the climate models are basically our tools to understand how the climate system works. And they come in a huge range of complexity, you know, from said, very simple ones to very complicated ones. Um, some that we can understand very well, some that are completely obscure, although we can run them and get answers for them, we don't understand them. So a climate model, I think the best way to think of it is our main tool to understand the climate system. Another way to phrase it would be the following. If I'm a physicist and I want to understand how a pendulum works, you know, I can go in the lab, I attach a bulb and, you know, I lick the pen. Uh, if I'm a climate physicist, I want to understand how the climate works. I can't be like God and create a, another planet Earth and play with it, you know. And so the climate models allow us to basically do that, to experiment uh, with this physical system, which is very complicated, and try to disentangle the various pieces and see how they affect each other. Our, our school is School of Engineering and Applied Science, so I'm on the applied science part. And a lot of science is about understanding the world. And so what I hope to contribute is understanding. Um, that's really what I do. And um, I try to focus on problems that are of relevance to our uh, contemporaries and the climate you know, the climate problem is a big, uh, it's a big question these days. So that's what I do.